Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumen channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Milwaukee N95 multi-purpose unvolved respirator. We recently tested the evolved version of these, so we really want to see the difference between the results on the evolved and the unvolved. They come in a box of 20 for $31.97. So these are the exact same thing as the other ones that we reviewed, except for the valve not being there. They are a stiff cup style respirator. They have all of their markings on the side and the nose wire on top, and they have the nose foam. So these straps are very long, but what they do here is that they have small black bead where you can just adjust it to your liking. And this does seem very big, so we're going to see how this compares to my face. Uh, yeah. So these are a very large fit, as you guys can see. It's fitting well over the bridge of my nose, so I'm not getting any seal up here. I don't know if you guys can tell. But I have a hole done. I have a hole right here because it just doesn't sit on my face correctly. I did also have this issue with the other ones that, I've test that I tested. The inside of the mask is not the best material, and it's very itchy. So it doesn't feel very comfortable. So yeah, there's really no way for me to actually shape this to my face because it just it's just not a great fit because I do have a smaller face. This is how the straps look for the back. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these tests on our TSI machine. We're gonna be testing both the filtration efficiency and pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The last sample's filtration percentage was 97.71 and a pressure drop of 12.6 millimeters of water. Second sample had a filtration percentage of 99.06 and a pressure drop of 13.9 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 97.71 and a pressure drop of 12.6 millimeters of water. So we're back now and as you guys saw, these respirators tested pretty well in terms of filtration efficiency. The lowest results being 97% and the pressure drop ranged between 12 and 13, which we typically like to see things under 10, but these are still great results and, and these are also not a bad deal. When it comes to the construction quality, they were not my favorite. I did feel very uncomfortable wearing them, but like I said, just because they don't fit me doesn't mean that it won't fit you. And if you haven't tried the Milwaukee's and are into cup masks with a large frame face, this might be a good fit for you. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next, or if you'd like to send in a mask or respirator, please make sure to look at our description box. We're gonna be leaving our address along with our website, which is acumed.com, and our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next video.